So I wanted to jump on this news article all over online, actually in the physical printed papers as well. And this landlord is furious, pub landlord, uh, about Airbnb and it should all be banned and it's causing all the world's problems. So uh, it's basically claiming his staff can't afford to rent anywhere because of short term rentals. So his statements uh, as we go through. One of his staffs only they, they can't afford to to rent anywhere. They need to commute. They can't stay in Edinburgh and need to commute um, because they're bar staff and that's all short term rentals' fault. So uh, it goes on to say various outrageous claims. And again, media hit piece on the uh, short term rental sector in Scotland as is the, the flavour. So any news things in Scotland, they're always going to be negative towards short term rentals and vacation rentals. So it's does take some people to defend this. So a few points here on his claims as you go through, and I'm sure if you wanted to find it, you will just put furious Edinburgh pub landlord. Firstly, if your staff can't afford to rent, then perhaps pay them a bit more. I don't know what you pay them, but you're in the hospitality industry, which is still badly affected in Scotland more, more than England. Um, so I suspect they're on the minimum wage or just above it. So if your staff can't afford to rent somewhere, it's not my responsibility to give your staff more money or reduce rents. Perhaps you could pay your staff a little bit more is point number one there. Point number two is if you removed every single short term rental from a capital city like Edinburgh, prices would still be high. So I think removing short term lets uh, and letting normal renters and first time buyers, second time buyers, um, whatever, it would have a negative effect on rental prices. It's Scotland's capital city. Rental prices are going to be high as they are in London and any capital city all over the world. And I think short term lens has a negative effect on that. The, the next thing is people that are, that your staff are bar staff, yet assume they're in the minimum wage, they're not going to be able to afford to rent or buy in a a capital city anywhere in the world. So it's not Airbnb fault. It's not my fault as a as a landlord that somebody can't stay in a, a capital city of a country. That's just general prices. Um, of course, a bar staff, a bar, a bar person, barmaid, barman can't afford to rent in a capital city and they need to commute. That happens every time. Think of London, the people commute an hour and a half and they're high level executives that are in hundreds of thousands of pounds a year and they need to commute. You're paying your staff pennies, but yet it's my responsibility to provide your staff with affordable housing. So uh, unrealistic um, for Airbnbs to be taken away, it wouldn't have any effect. And lastly, the claim being there that Airbnb type landlords are responsible for this. Well, actually, as we said, it's negligible. It isn't, it isn't my responsibility as a landlord to fill a housing crisis. I am a, it's not your responsibility as a business owner apart from to offer pub stuff. It's not your responsibility to do anything else in society. So why is it my responsibility as a business owner to help people get affordable housing? It shouldn't be a legal obligation for me to do that. If I want to operate a holiday home or stay in it myself, then that's totally fine. It's the government's responsibility to do these big large scale projects. And you may argue with that, but the government take that on board and actually admit that. They need to build 20,000 houses in Edinburgh. So that's 20,000 affordable houses they want to build in Edinburgh. And they are taking that responsibility. Easy to blame short term letting landlords and Airbnb, but the affordable housing crisis uh, in Edinburgh uh, isn't the responsibility of landlords to fix. We're just citizens, we're here being looked after by the state. So it's the government's responsibility and larger organisations to, to provide these, and they could provide other people with tax incentive. But that's what the government's role is is to, to help create these affordable houses and change policy and create transition. So it's not my responsibility as a private citizen to do that. And if I want to have an Airbnb, then so be it. It's negligible in the bigger scheme of things. But to go on and have the absolute goal to say, I, I think everybody's, my staff can't afford accommodation because of everybody else. Nothing to do with my wages and my remuneration package. Well, perhaps if you wanted to do it, you're going to say, I'm going to buy properties for my staff. I'm going to buy them and, and give them and rent them out to them. Well, perhaps pay them a bit more. If your staff can't afford a house, if they can't afford to share a room, Perhaps that's because you're not paying them enough. So before jumping on and criticising everybody else and putting the blame elsewhere, have a little bit of a look about how you could help your staff and pay them a wee bit more.